Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is my logo house. I've got an idea for a brand new part, a hot air balloon. So let's get cracking. So everybody, you need to have completed lesson six to get here. So that way you've got the awesome commands like X, Y. So I want to put my balloon left of zero and I want to put it up in the air. So I'm going to type X, Y, where the first number we type is X. I'm going to type negative 150, and then I'm going to raise mine up 200 high and press enter. This will be a cool spot to add a balloon. So to draw the balloon, I'm going to type circle, and I'm going to put 20 and press enter. So there is where my balloon is going to float, but now I want to add awesome lines. Friends, we're going to do this with the ellipse command, E-L-L-I-P-S-E. And then we know that one of our numbers is 20. So I'm gonna type in 20 comma 15 and see if this creates the shape I want. No, it doesn't. So I'm just gonna do clear screen and let's reuse those commands by double clicking. And this time I'm gonna change the order, but I'm gonna make it 10 space 20. And then watch what happens here, 10, 20. I have got a decent hot air balloon floating in the sky. I'm going to put these in a new word, so I'm going to type file edit, and I'm going to call it HB for hot air balloon. And then in HB, I'm going to put those commands. Remember, they were XY negative 150. And you can change yours. You can change yours numbers. As a matter of fact, I'm going to lower mine to 175. And then I'm going to type my circle 20. And then I'm going to do the ellipse, E-L-L-I-P-S-E. -L -L -E, and I'm going to put in the 10 and the 20. When I do file, save, and exit, let's clear the screen and bring back our code with house and then type HB so we can see our hot air balloon. I'm gonna real quickly put a basket below our hot air balloon and I'm gonna do that by editing HB. I'm gonna use a square for my basket. So instead of negative 150, I'm gonna go negative 155 x y negative 155 so it's a little further left and then i'm going to go up instead of 150 i'm going to go 50 less so i'm going to go 125 and then i'm going to draw my basket with sq2 and i'm going to choose size 7 let's do file save and exit and let's be smart about putting these on one line for testing so now i'm going to have cs house and hb all on the same line and you can see there is my little basket. I think that's a little bit small, so I'm gonna edit it again. Here's a new trick. If you do edit space quotes and then put an HB without a quotes, when you press enter, it lets you right back in. Let's see what it looks like with a nine and do file, save and exit. And then we can click on our old CS house and press enter and I like that a lot. So now we need to connect it with strings. Let me show you how we're gonna do this. When we press enter to go back into our edit, we are gonna go from the top corner of this square. Well, remember we went nine high, so we've gotta do 125 plus nine. If your numbers are different, just adjust them. So here is my XY. I'm still gonna go negative 155 for this side and I'm gonna go 134 for the height. And then to get to the edge of my balloon, I'm gonna go further left and upwards. So this time I'm gonna really just type set X, Y cause I wanna make a mark. And let's try, so we're guessing and testing. I'm gonna go negative 165 and I'm gonna go all the way up to 170. So almost the old height where the center of the balloon was. And then we're gonna test it. File, save, and exit. Click the old CS house. And look at that. I was close, but not far enough over. So we can click on our old edit and enter and change the number real quick. I'm going to try 170. And I only recommend changing one of these at a time. Click on your CS house and press enter. And that's pretty amazing. So then we edit house and we do that again. Once again, we're gonna use the XY command to move 
to the right corner of this. Remember that square was 9 across. So we're going to add 9 to the negative 155. Remember that's going to move us less than negative 155. So we're going to type negative 146 because we're moving to the right. And we do know that the height was still 135. If you want to test it, you can hit File, Save, and Exit and watch where the turtle goes when you click and test. So he's right here, ready to move that way. Once again, click your old Edit HB, and now we're going to do Set XY. This time I'm going to be real smart, and I'm going to do Control C and Control V. But instead of going negative 170, we know that our new number is negative 146. And we are going to guess that that height stays the same. And then we're going to make sure we put a pen home or a pen up home pen down on the last line. File, save, and exit. CS house HB. <laughs> and I was good, except I didn't go far enough over. So this is what happens. You get in and edit it. So 146 was straight up. Let's try something like 130 for how far it needs to move closer to zero. File, save, and exit. CS house and press enter. Holy moly, first try. Uh, that's some pretty cool lucky guessing. Alrighty friends, so that's pretty awesome. Now we just need to paint it and then you can actually add it to your house. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna paint the balloon piece first or the center piece first. Friends, it is so cool. Circles draw around themselves. So you can just copy the old code, do control V and we can paste in our color codes. I'm gonna choose set FC, and I'm gonna make mine blue with the one command, and I'm gonna type fill, and then I do always wanna emphasize that I'm gonna use pen home to move it back. And then we need to do some guessing to paint these other ones. I'm gonna just copy this line here. And you remember how we did negative 155 for this edge? I'm gonna go a little further than that because that looks like it would still land. So I'm gonna change that to negative 160. I'm gonna keep the height. I'm gonna set this to uh, six because I like that yellow to go with it. And I remember these because I've me uh, memorized them. Let's do a quick test and see how that looks. CS house and HB, boom. I painted that, but I need to go further over for the insides. This is what's so cool is you can just edit, change, and keep going until you have painted all of the balloon so I'm gonna put my five do my save and exit and test and press enter as my balloon just gets more and more awesome including filling in the bucket don't forget friends when you are finished make sure you do file edit go to your house and every cool piece you add needs to also be right here so it happens automatically Friends, I hope you're having a ton of fun with this logo coding and learning a lot of skills. You'll notice I haven't quite finished this for you, but those are the challenges I'm giving you. You could end up with a whole fleet of hot air balloons. Have fun. See just how epic you can make it. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.